hobbling all the way up to Newcastle to talk to us anyway, and we'll be playing on the 100th show on the 4th of April. So how is your poor knee? Well, it's not mended completely yet, and I'm doing lots of physio, and, uh... How did you do it? Did you fall off something and twist it? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was at the first Thomas Smith Odeon concert, and, um, it was one of those inspired leaps and twists, and I landed badly on the monitor wires. Do you go Bupa or your national health? Do you have a Zimmer? <laughs> no, not Bupa. I'm not normally that, that accident prone. You had a quite a bad throat infection a couple of tours ago as well. I mean, that, that wasn't very that, nice. That was 82, I'm sure. The knee came out just to fox the throat. <laughs> We're talking of, uh, you know, 82 and so on. It's been quite a while since we've had an album from it. It's been about a year. Mm. And the next one's not coming out till April. So what's the delay been? Um, well, we, we recorded Tinderbox last year in May in Berlin. And that was all fine. Then we came back to London to do some overdubs and finish it off. And uh, we lost respect for the person we were working with. I mean, it just didn't work. And so the rest of the year was spent looking for someone to finish it off with. Meanwhile, the tour came up in October and uh, the knee came out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was in December we found someone to work with called Steve Churchyard. And uh, there's actually a vocal on, on the album done with my leg up, <laughs> sitting down in a couch. <laughs> spot, spot the vocal with the couch. Spot the physical injury. It's mm. only the best injuries. I know, I thought rather strangely, or perhaps not strange, in the NME readers' polls, you featured in thousands of them, even though you seem to have been away for quite a while. People don't seem to forget, you know, best female singer, best live act, best haircut. And do you find that strange? People are still, you know, really desperate for Susie and the Banshees. Um, I suppose it's, uh, we don't oversaturate the media, so, um, I can't get enough, maybe. What do you think of all this looking back that's happening now in the music press of 10 years of punk, which I always hate the... it. Do I you... really do. Do you think it's really unhealthy? Um, it's probably only happening because there's nothing to rave about at the moment. I mean, that's probably the only reason. Um, I personally don't like reminiscing 10 years back. Because the age that you are now in your 20s, I mean, they're talking about you as if you're the Rolling Stones and you're ancient, but you're younger than Aha, for instance. Are they? I think so, oh. yeah. I mean, do you not find that really odd? You've sort of been called the, the, the grandmother of punk or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's the stick. <laughs> um, do you think it's just that there's hardly any young bands about? Oh, there are lots, but I, um, maybe there's too many and it's just too um, spread too thin. Um, and I suppose it is unusual for a group to last ten years. I mean, I mean, people tend to last two or three years, you know, they have their couple of chart successes and then they just fade away. It is quite hard, isn't it, to sustain something? I mean, you've managed it with the band, you keep sort of coming up with sort of very solid material. But I mean, what will happen in the next ten years? I mean, you can only really go sort of two ways, either stadium rockers or just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I only predicted us lasting 20 minutes, so... <laughs> 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 what do you think will happen? You're just going to carry on the way you are? You don't yeah. have any bigger ideas? Well, no ideas of being an actress or anything like that. Would you like to still be going? I mean, imagine there's like 20 years of punk in the enemy and they're looking back. Would you hate that? It might be entertaining. <laughs> Right, are you going to do a tour to back up Tinderbox, or is that you finished for a while? Because you probably break something else. Do a tour to back the old knee back in. Um, there's tentatively a tour in America for May, and before that, a few dates in Europe. But that is all still pending on my kneecap. Right, kneecaps pending. Here's a new single with video of it, Candyman.